just like we did with parametric equations. Let's learn how to find dy dx if we have a polar equation. That is to say, let's learn how to find the slopes of tangent lines. Well, in a sense, there is not much to say about this. I'll simply state to the equation, and it is a very ugly equation, sad to say. One comment I have to make is that we're finding the tangent line slope dy d theta, or sorry, dy dx. And our equation, even though we're finding the derivative of y with respect to x, is not going to have y and x in it. It's going to be entirely in terms of theta. F prime of theta times the sine of theta plus F of theta times the cosine of theta divided by f prime of theta times the cosine of theta minus f of theta times the sine of theta. So on the one hand, what a mess. On the other hand, using this is pretty plug and play. So if we let R be a two sine theta, plus theta, for example, then f prime of theta is two times the cosine of theta plus one. And f of theta is this, two sine theta, plus theta. And as unappealing as this might be to look at, it's very plug and play. We've got the derivative. times the sine plus the original function times the cosine divided by the derivative times the cosine minus the original function times the sine. This, you, you might be able to simplify this a little. Um, I mean, you definitely can. Like, you have a cosine sine, 
and a cosine sine. You could combine those together. Nothing you do to this is going to make it really lovely, though. It's a weird, messy formula that gives weird, messy answers. And that's just the way it is.